Transformers Universe is a third-person tactical action game where you're gonna battle it out for either the Autobots or Decepticons. So you take on the role of a commander, commanding a selection of brand new warriors, exclusive to Transformers Universe. When playing for the first time, you'll be given a short mission to complete. This should bring you up to speed with the basics of the game. You'll need to choose a warrior to command on the battlefield. There are three warriors already unlocked for you. If you want to unlock new warriors, you can use relics. Now that is a currency earned through either gameplay or direct purchase. Every warrior has unique weapon specials called s and equipment. These special abilities, when used correctly, will give you the upper hand in combat, from boosting damage for a few seconds to even becoming immune to all attacks. Soldiers like Shellshock, they're great at causing damage, not so good at defending allies. Mechanists like Meltdown are exceptional healers, but they're gonna struggle under fire. Knowing when to use your s and equipment will determine your success in battle. You can tune your warrior to suit your playstyle or customize how they look. By equipping power cores to your warrior, you gain new effects and abilities. They can be collected during gameplay and as rewards when completing matches and missions. At level five, you can equip one basic power core and you'll unlock the ability to equip more of them for your warrior when you reach higher levels. Once a power core is equipped to a warrior, it can't be removed without being destroyed. Eventually, you will unlock the ability to apply optimized power cores. These are more powerful and the rarest, so keep a lookout for different power cores when you're playing. There are currently three types of game mode. First is Elimination, a team deathmatch game where your objective is to defeat a certain number of warriors before the enemy's team does. In Meteor Storm, you and your team will be battling against the enemy to capture and defend positions, King of the Hill style. The Crisis game mode focuses on a team of four working together to take on an endless horde of terror cons, all while completing objective. When you jump into battle, you will be in direct control of that warrior, using third-person controls to target and shoot at your enemies in fast-paced combat. Energon is an in-game resource used to engineer items, heal your warriors, and to set up utilities in certain game modes. To mine for Energon, head into a PvE area and press 7 to scan for mining locations. You'll notice an icon appears on screen or on the mini-map once you've located a mining location. Press F to deploy your probe. You'll see the amount of Energon available on the mining point symbol. The more crystals on the mining symbol, the more Energon you can mine. Each warrior is equipped with MK1 probes, which will gather Energon at a slow rate. You can craft higher level probes and equip these to gather Energon quicker. A countdown timer will display, showing how long you have until all the Energon is depleted. Be careful, terror cons will appear, woken by the mining, and attack you and your mining probe. Once you've gathered enough Energon, head over to a deposit point and hold down F to transfer the Energon to your hangar to engineer with. You can only gather a limited amount of Energon at a time, but depositing Energon will allow you to store what you've collected and go back and mine for more. You will need more than just tactics and skill to stay alive. Careful use of items on the battlefield can make all the difference. The engineering tab in the hangar will allow you to create items using Energon or relics. Prototypes. So these are the one-use items that offer temporary benefits such as repairs or disorienting enemies. Probes. These are used to mine Energon at a higher rate. Augments. These are upgrades that will apply a temporary bonus to your account such as increasing damage for 48 hours. To create an item, simply select it and choose to either use Energon to make it over time or Relics as an instant purchase. The time taken for an Energon-created item is displayed on the page and takes place even if you go offline, so you can have multiple items under creation at the same time. Once an item has been created, it'll appear in your inventory ready for use. To equip them, simply head to your tuning page and apply the items and probes to your warrior. So there you have it a breakdown of all the key elements you need to know so you can take it to the enemy in the Transformers universe.